With fentanyl overdoses increasing on the Big Island, health officials and parents are now advocating for students to carry Narcan in schools. KITV 4 Shanila Kabir has more on how they plan to spread the word. I'm outside Long's Drugs, where very easily, with a prescription, you can get a free Narcan nasal spray. Many parents, particularly on the Big Island, are pushing for children to carry this in schools to help counter a possible opioid overdose. Some parents may not speak to their children, and I feel like with the school, it could get to a mass quantity of kids so that it, is, it could be talked about amongst peers, and they aren't aware of, you can't just try anything these days. Like you try something and you may not make it out. Fernandez says she's called every school on the Big Island and asked them to offer courses to students on how to use Narcan. In addition to the nurses and teachers who carry it and keep it handy. Their goal is to have this in place before a fentanyl incident happens at their children's schools. It's a little grain salt, so a grain. That's it, like a little piece of Hawaiian salt. They don't even have to touch it. All it has to be is inhaled. It goes right through your skin and you will die like that. Health experts say one person overdoses from fentanyl every 11 days on the Big Island. Calling this an epidemic, Narcan can help, restoring breathing within two minutes, according to the CDC. It's harmless if, if, to anybody, uh, but it's super helpful to somebody who's basically experiencing an overdose of opioids. Um, but, you know, it is, a, it is a drug. So there is some policies that the, that the Department of Education is kind of reviewing. So I think it's just a matter of time before our schools will be carrying Narcan. If you or the people around you use drugs, it's recommended you know how to respond to a possible overdose. There are many resources here in Hawaii if you need help, including a 24-hour support line. Shanila Kabir, KITV4 Island News.